Michael Gilbert, a.k.a. Atticus Lodius, a.k.a. The Genius Test Guy, sent me a PM this morning saying, hey, there's a new genius test. Since you complained last time, this time I'll tell you. He didn't actually say that part. Um, and he said, you know, you can find it at Newgrounds. Right now, as of recording this, it's on the recent submissions little column on the left side of Newgrounds. So it's not a front page submission, but it is on the front page at present. However, it's number 14 on that list, and that list continually scrolls down. So it might not be there when you get there. So just do a, a search for Genius Test 6, and you should find it. What do we have here? Yeah, and his name is Atticus Lodius on Newgrounds, too. So if you get to his user profile, that will work. He said that he changed it back from the, logi uh, from the Spot the Difference puzzles back to logic puzzles and tricky questions. And he also told me to look at the bottom of the rules screen, and I did. And you can notice here it says walkthroughs available and other cool videos at my YouTube account. And I actually did notice a slight jump in the number of people who looked at my YouTube page. Because I checked my YouTube channel page to see if anybody left me channel comments, and I have a little over a hundred more channel views today than I did yesterday, and that seems a little bit uh, excessive compared to the norm. This is where I stopped, though. Since he told me to look at the rules page, I decided to look at the rules page, and then I closed the game and restarted it. So let's go ahead and continue. This edition. This edition of Genius Test only consists of logic questions that were comprised to stump Sir Eldrick IV. Maybe. That's me, and you will not stump me, and I will crush you. Continue. We will start easy. How many numbers from 1 to 100 have the letter A in their spellings? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 8 doesn't have the letter A, but it has an A sound in it. But since there's way more than even 11 8s, it's going to be 0. Correct, there are not any numbers with an A in the spelling until you get to 1,000, unless you count the sound of A, in which case every 8 counts. Carpenter had to cut, ten foot cut a 10-foot plank into 10 equal sections. If it takes one minute per cut, how, many will it, how long will it take him to get the 10 equal pieces? Nine minutes. It only takes nine cuts to get 10 equal pieces. Once you've cut off eight equal pieces, you have one piece of wood left, and you just cut it in half. So nine cuts gets you 10 pieces. We did a lot of problems in elementary school about... Um, this kind of stuff. What's the difference between hitting on a number and hitting between a number? And I always use a fence post. That's what I have in my mind, because that was one of the first word problems we had. How many posts do you put in between the fence posts in order to make the fence, as opposed to how many posts do you put down? What is the largest possible number that you can write using only two numbers? Just two numbers, no other mathematical symbols. Okay, these both have mathematical symbols, so they are out. And this would be, technically 99 is a number, so this would count, but there's no mathematical symbols allowed. And 9 to the 9th is way bigger than 99. Correct, 9 to the 9th power is 3 blah blah a bunch. My pre-calculus teacher in high school, um, on a test, if he put something like 9 to the 9th equals on the non-calculator portion of the test, you, you could write a bunch, just literally a bunch, and he would accept that as a correct answer because that would be kind of dumb. What mathematical symbol can be placed between 5 and 9 to get a number greater than 5 and smaller than 9? 5 times 9 is 45, so that's wrong. 5 plus 9 is 14, that's wrong. 5 minus 9 is negative 4, that's wrong, so none of the above. Correct. A decimal placed between the two will cause the number to be 5.9. However, the decimal was not an option. Tricky. Well, not tricky. It was easy to figure out the right answer, uh, the correct choice of answers, but not necessarily the correct answer. Ugh. On what date did the second millennium officially start? Aha! I know this one. None of the above. Correct. The second millennium started on January 1st, 1001. We are now in the third. Why do I know that one? I graduated 
in 2001. And a lot of the people who graduated the year before us kept saying that they were the first class of the millennium to graduate. And I kept telling them, no, you are not. You are the last class of last millennium. You are old news. You suck. We rule. And they didn't appreciate that very much. But because there's no year zero, that means that the last uh, year of a millennium is zero, and then the first year of the new millennium is a one. And then, of course, the trick here is the second millennium starts in 1,000 for the exact same reason. The first millennium is without a 1,000. The second millennium is the 1,000s. The third millennium is the 2,000s, and so on. Which popular cheese is made backwards? I love all of these cheeses except Swiss, but made backwards is Edom. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of the cheese, but that's what I call it, Edom. Correct, Edom spelled backwards makes the word made. Mr. and Mrs. Carpenter have five children. Of these five, half are boys. How many boys do they have, most logically? Of course, Mr. Spock. All right, 2.5 is the mathematical answer, but that would not be logical. You can't have half of a kid. Two-fifths would be 0.4, three-fifths would be 0.6, and five-fifths would be one. So, well, let's see. You could go with three-fifths as a form of rounding. So of these five, half are boys. How many boys do they have? If they have three out of five kids being boys, that's essentially half. Or I would go with five. There's a joke I like to tell, and it's uh, a logician was talking to his friend, and he says, my wife is pregnant. And the guy, his friend asks, oh, is it a boy or a girl? And the logician says, yes. Because in truth, both of those are uh, correct choices. In logic, it's, is it a boy or a girl? Yes, it is a boy or a girl. And so, five-fifths is half, just like three-fifths is a half. Because, hmm. alright, let's go with rounding. No, I have nothing positive to say about this. Neither do I. Are there 20 questions in this one? So then, five. Yep. Logically, you cannot have half a child. For the ratio to be correct, all of the children would have to be boys. Consider this statement. Two ducks in front of a duck, two ducks behind a duck, one duck in the middle. What is the least amount of ducks possible? This I know. I've heard this question before. Even in this form with ducks. If you have two ducks in front of a duck, two ducks behind a duck, and one duck in the middle, you would have three ducks. Yep. Oh, that's cool. You drew a little picture. I was going to draw a little picture, too. Two ducks behind, two ducks in front, and one in the middle. A spruce tree is directly in front of you. You are facing north. A wind is blowing from the east. Which way are the leaves blowing? A spruce tree? They're not, because spruces don't have leaves. They have pines. Yeah, le needles. A pine tree also has needles, which is why I said pines. If you rearrange the letters in the words new door to make one word, what would the third letter in the new in the rearrange what would be the third letter? What would the third letter be in the rearranged word? Blech. Okay, I'm bad at these. To make one word. So I need to make one word out of this. W O R D I could make neo word, or I can make odor when. <laughs> oh man, Durun? No, Drew, D R E W O O N, New Drun, Drun. What would be the third letter in the rearranged word? And luckily, the well, luckily for me, I should say, the A and the R, which would be the third letters of rearranged word and just word, are not there. Oh, what about neo, neo, neo rudoir? 
I'm not good at this. I hate anagrams. These are my worst puzzles. Well, cryptograms are my worst puzzles. Anagrams are not good either. Um, end. I can make end. Wur end. <laughs> Wood. Renwood. Red. Red wound. Redoon. Uh, I don't want to have to guess. Letters in the words new door to make one word. Well, to make one word, what would be the third letter? Can I make one word? Oh my gosh, you can make one word out of this. I'm an idiot. So the answer is E. No, yes, E. Correct, rearrange new door to make one word. Oy vey, I got that right, but that was way too hard for me. I told you I suck at those. All right, video number two. Bye-bye.